All right, guys, so are you one of those persons who is having a hard time getting their video out in a timely manner? Then if you are that person, then this is the video for you. Let's get straight into it. Here are five tips and tricks to help you get your work done faster. Here we are inside DaVinci Resolve. And if you're like me, guys, oftentimes you tend to use certain uh, fonts or audio over and over. So when it comes on to that now, here's when you need to favorite your fonts or uh, plugins, whatever it may be, guys. So let's start with the fonts. So over here, I have some fonts that I regularly use, all right? So this is one of the fonts here. And if I go over it, you're gonna see it right there, all right? And these are one of the fonts that I use a lot. And the first thing you definitely want to do is on the right side of the font, you're gonna see that little star right here. As you, as you notice that I already have it, the star there. And this is one of the things that you can actually do to help yourself to get access to these fonts instead of scrolling all the way through all these fonts right here. So once you click on the favorites, you're gonna go over here inside this section and you're gonna see the actual font that we just favored right here inside the favorites folder. So that is actually one of the methods. The next one is guys, is the adjustment clips. And the adjustment clip can be used for many different things. So let's remove this from here. And we have this video right here, right? And in the same favorites folder, um, you can actually find it here if you go in the toolbox and then you click on the little search tool right here and you say AD just, you're gonna see it pop up right here. As you can see, the star is on mine already. That goes to show that I actually favored it already. All right, and what, what, what happens now is when you drag the judgment clip over, let's say your video, you try to make it the length of the actual video itself, all right? And then what you do now is, let's say you want to have the video to be going to zoom in and back out, all right? So what you do is you click on where you want it to start, then you come over here where it says zoom, and all you do is just drag the video up, and once you come in, you're moving from this, time, on this part of the timeline, and you press the space bar, you will see the video just kind of zoom in or what you could do is you move the adjustment clip to a point and then you will have the, the video in its normal state and then you once it gets to the adjustment clip you see that it kind of goes in and then let's say you don't want the zoom in to be that long you can adjust the length of the adjustment right here and once you see go boom those does the little zoom in and then boom it goes back out so that's one really good way of using adjustment clip also you can add even effects to your adjustment clip just to keep that in mind so let's move on to the next one guys all right so the power bin is right here inside um your media uh pool if you don't see it, guys, if you go up to the media pool section right here, you click on these three little dots. Once you click on that, you're gonna see it says show power bin right here. If I click on it, you see it disappears. If I go back and you see it appear there. So what, what happens now is I have favorite audios and even, even the uh, like fonts and stuff like that you can actually use inside the power bin. So let's use for example now, <coughs> that I enjoy the zoom in uh, effects that I just added to the, to the adjustment clip. All I have to do is click on it and all I do is just drag it to the power bin. And if I remove this now, and I'm in a totally new video, I'm creating a totally new video. All I do is I just drag it over here and I have access to that feature still. And that is one of the main features of the power bin. All right, guys, so let's move on to the next one, guys. And this is... In the color section. So let's delete this. 
So now I have this video here, right? And I'll go into the color section. Once you're in the color section right here, you will notice that there's no form of grading if you look at the node right here. There's just one node. But the thing with me is that because I do this video almost every week, I tend to not want it to repeat everything over and over and re-add in, you know, nodes after nodes after nodes and do adjustments. But that, that's definitely gonna eat into your time. What you do is, you come over here. This is one of my saved uh, uh, settings that I have. And all I do is double click on it. And if you notice here, you can see all the nodes right here. And you can see that the video actually changed. If I click on this right here, you will see the difference in the adjustment that was actually made. And now, if I need to come here and make, let's say, a different, uh, a minor adjustment, it will not take me as long as, as you can see here with all these notes. It will just take me so much, a, such a little amount of time in order to make whatever minor adjustment I need to make. So let's say I created this video one day in the morning and then one day I'm creating the video at midday and the light is a little bit brighter, right? Because I have these nice big windows over here. I tend to make a little bit darker or I bring the ISO down on my camera. So if you notice right here, this video is a little bit darker. So what's gonna happen is all I would do is I'll just come here and let's say I want to you know, increase my highlights. I go inside HDR and I come over here and I just increase the highlights there. And you can see that little adjustment made. And let's say my shadow is a little bit too dark. All I do is come over here and I increase my shadows and that's pretty much it. If I look at the before and after, before and after, you can see the actual difference here. So your question probably is, how do we do, how do we save inside the power grid? Easily. All you do guys, once you've made all your edits in your video, you right click on your with your mouse and you're going to see it says here grab still once you click on that you're going to see a similar picture of what you just did a while ago uh created so let's say we want to test it now so all i'm going to do now is i'm going to highlight these over here i'm going to hit the delete key i'm going to right click on this node here and say reset so now that there's no former settings or adjustment on this particular video right here and all i have to do the one that i just created i just double click on it and there we have it. There we have the adjustment that we just made on this particular video, guys. So I hope that helps. So the last one now, guys, is audio. So let's go back to our edit page. And in this video now, this was a video I created some time ago uh, for the Move Max, right? So what I will just play it so that you guys can actually hear it. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna increase the audio because I want you guys to hear everything, all right? So let's go. First thing I need to do is I need to wipe down the surface of the car so that the suction uh, can, can cap can get a rear. Um, all right, so if you notice that video, guys, you have a lot of background noise. And one thing I really like about it, the new the DaVinci Resolve um, 19 is that you can clean up your audio with just one click. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now, we'll click on the audio right here. Once you click on the audio, you're going to see a thing right here in the audio section, right about three down, you're going to see a thing that says voice isolation. All you do, you click on that. Once you click on it, you don't have to do anything else. You just wait for it to do, to do, to do its thing. And then now, I, I think it should process it right now. So if I click on the space bar one more time, let's just wait. If you notice, there's no background noise. I think this is in the studio version. I'm not too sure, guys, but you guys can tell me in the comment section below. How easy was that? So imagine you going through trying to figure out how to get rid of the, the, the noise in the background. It's a long process, guys. And just for easily just doing a voice isolation, boom, the job is done, guys. So let me know, guys, if these five tips and tricks have actually helped you in any way, shape, or form in the comment section below, guys. And if you guys know of any others that you can probably share with us, leave it in the, in, in the comment section below, guys. If you guys enjoy this video, smash that like button, guys. And if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.